you can order your copy of my 2021 NFL Draft Guide today. What you'll get is over 550 individual prospect scouting reports like you see here, a ton of information that'll help you keep track of who your favorite team drafts or even signs as a free agent. It's all here, over 650 full color pages in PDF form. You can order your copy at the following link, footballgameplan.com slash 2021 draft guide. Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here with football game plan scouting. And you know what that means. The NFL draft and CFL draft for 2021 is rapidly approaching and it's time to get into our prospect rankings for this year's draft class. And before we get started, let's take a look at what the grades that you'll see by the prospects actually mean. We'll start with the inline tight end prospects first and Pat Fryermuth out of Penn State graded out as the best at the position. He's a throwback to an era where a tight end can do it all, block, run good routes, and also catch the football. He's excellent in the run game from a recognition standpoint to actually executing his blocks. Now in the passing game, once he makes a reception, he's looking to score the ball and has grown his game each and every season out there in Happy Valley. So he tops the list. And as we look at the rest of the top 10, there's not much separation between number two and number six. As you can see, it's a solid class in the middle. Guys who are strong in the run blocking department. Carl Tucker out of Alabama is probably one of the more underrated here on this list. Going back to his UNC film, he was good a receiver as you can find at the position. He just wasn't utilized in that way at Alabama because he's a tenacious point of attack blocker as well. Now, Iowa State's tight end Dylan Schoner almost gives you an extra offensive tackle out there on the field with how good he is at the point of attack. He's able to hold his own as a blocker. He also has the dependable hands that you look for at the position. Now let's move on to the H-back position. Some guys that you want to put on the move a little bit more. And at the number one spot is Notre Dame's Tommy Trimble. He's explosive in all aspects of his game, running, blocking, and route running. He's got terrific burst and explosion off the ball and that helps him be a devastating blocker at the point of attack i think his upside potential is through the roof because of his route running you can even trust him out wide as a flex tight end in certain situations his game reminds me a lot of john Lou smith of the tennessee titans now brevin jordan of miami is a jordan reed type prospect an excellent route runner whose fluid athleticism allows him to shift his weight back and forth get in and out of his breaks rather seamlessly. He's fantastic with the ball in his hands and has the wiggle to make guys miss in the open field. He's one of the stronger run after the catch options in the draft class. Now looking at the rest of the H-back prospects in this class and Trey McKitty out of Georgia is coming off of a stellar week of work at the Reese's Senior Bowl, showcasing the ability in the past game that he displayed back at Florida State before transferring to Georgia this past season. He and Kansas State H-back Briley Moore have the good short area quickness for guys their size and more to me has underrated fluidity at the position he's a better athlete than many will give him credit for and it shows up in his run after the catch ability which means he has potential in that regard and finally we move on to the flex tight ends guys who are considered legit matchup nightmares out there on the perimeter which aptly describes the number one flex tight end in this draft class and that's Kyle Pitts of Florida I've said this before if you like him at tight end He's Randy McMichael reincarnated. If you like him at wide receiver, he's Plexico Burris. Either way, he's a significant threat in the passing game and has the effort that you want to see from a guy in the blocking department. He's a day one red zone option for any team that's looking for an above the rim player in her passing game. Keep an eye out for Josh Peterson from UL Monroe. He's a savvy route runner that's very comfortable out there on the perimeter, showing the ability to accelerate into his stem, snap out of his break, and accelerate to the football. Now, he can play above the rim or even down in the basement. He's a type of tight end option that definitely helps out your quarterback. And oh, by the way, yes, he is Doug Peterson's son, but he's a very good prospect in his own right. Now, looking at the rest of the list, and it's not as deep of a class as I've seen it in recent memory, but there's no shortage of talent on this list, like Colin Granson of SMU. He's got the ability to get deep down the field in the passing game. Pro Wells of TCU has top-notch athleticism and leaping ability, also showcasing strong hands at the catch point, and is an aggressive ball player in every aspect of his game. But be on the lookout for Zach Davidson 
of Central Missouri, the 6'7", 245 pound tight end, has excellent athleticism for the position and could really blossom into a stretch vertical option at the NFL level. He's very similar to Cameron Brait and what he brings to the table. However, what he does have that Brait doesn't have is the ability to punt the football. He led the conference in punting, averaging 42.8 yards a kick. So he could literally kill two birds with one stone. He generated a lot of buzz this past January at the College Gridiron Showcase as well. So that's it for this edition of Football Game Plan Scouting. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media accounts. And don't forget to check out and subscribe to the Football Game Plan Network located at youtube.com slash football game plan. Also subscribe on iTunes to Football Game Plan Podcast and leave us a five-star rating. That's where you can find our Scout Team Podcast. And keep it locked every Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time on the Game Plus Network for our scout team show where we will have a lot more of NFL and CFL draft related content coming down the pike.